Hello everyone and welcome to our video tutorial on how to make a server-to-server post-back integration between two tracking platforms. Before going technical, we will need to understand the structure of the server-to-server post-back URL and how data is exchanged through it. So let's see some post-back URL examples. The golden rule when integrating a post-back URL is that those and only those dynamic parameters, the sections highlighted with yellow from our examples, of any postback URL must be modified with the other side platform parameters or fixed values we want to receive back in our tracking platform, no matter the platform you are using. In Traffic Manager, we use replace instead of a dynamic parameter to make it more intuitive for people to understand which part of the postback URL should be replaced with the other side's parameters. To give you a better understanding, Let's take a look at an example of a postback from Traffic Manager. Access the top right menu from your platform admin account and click on the global postback URL to see your platform's global postback. As you can see, we have three replace placeholders that need to be updated with the corresponding parameters from the third-party tracking platform we want to integrate. Let's copy and paste our global postback into a Word file to proceed. Next, we will need to identify the parameters from the third-party tracking platform that correspond to the placeholders in the Traffic Manager postback URL. As we mentioned earlier, the golden rule when integrating a postback URL is that only the dynamic parameters of your postback URL, the sections highlighted in yellow in our file, should be changed to correspond with the parameters or fixed values of the other tracking platform. The rest of the postback URL should not be altered. Assuming that these are the parameters from the third-party tracking platform we want to integrate, we would modify the Traffic Manager postback URL as follows. The Clicked parameter should be placed in the Clicked placeholder. The Mount parameter should be placed in the Mount placeholder. Lastly, the transaction ID parameter should be placed in the corresponding transaction ID placeholder. Please ensure that you don't leave empty spaces in the postback URL or delete anything. Once you have the complete postback URL with the third-party parameters, simply copy and paste it into the third-party tracking platform and save your changes. All that's left to do now is to conduct a test sale or conversion using a tracking link from the platform where you just integrated the postback URL to ensure your integration is working correctly. For more information, feel free to visit our blog and check out the Server 2 Server Postback Integration for Beginners Guide. There we provide additional examples of postback integrations, troubleshooting tips, and guidance on testing the postback integration to ensure it has been set up correctly. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.